Boys and girls, we're back. Mishimoto radiator has just arrived. So we finally got the Mishimoto radiator here at home, ready to go into the car. I actually took the car apart last night in preparation for its arrival. We'll cut to that in a moment. But originally, the reason why this car has been down for so long is because I was trying to go, I wanted to steer away from the OEM and I wanted to go aluminum, but I didn't want to spend the money that you know, the do its radiator is, which is, you know, just, just south of a thousand dollars, depending on which one you get. I wanted, uh, the most cost effective route, which was a company called engineering cooling products. Originally when I purchased it, it was actually showing as it as in stock, long story short, they realized it was not. They asked if I was willing to wait till the 15th when their new batch of radiators would arrive. I figured, Hey, not a big deal. I don't drive this car daily as long as I have it before March so I can make it to Homestead. It's all good. They called me on February 15th, said, hey, you know what, buddy? I won't have it till March. So I scrapped that order and I went up to the next level, which is pretty much gonna put you around that LG radiator, LG Motorsports radiator, and the, the Mishimoto. I naturally would have leaned towards LG Motorsports. I have a lot of parts of them. I love those guys. Uh, but uh, from what I saw, there was a couple sites that also showed out of stock and I just didn't wanna play with the out of stock conditions anymore. Mishimoto was on Amazon for 600 bucks and it got here the next day. So I want to get it installed. We're not going to start it in this video. We're not going to take it for a test drive. I'll make another video about that. It is currently around 10 PM here. Um, my wife's out of town and my 10 month old is sleeping inside the house. So I'm definitely not starting up Vader, but I do want to get it installed and prepped and ready. So tomorrow I can take it out for a test fit. So this is not intended to be a how-to video on installing the Mishimoto at all. So I will link in the description the Mishimoto install video that I found, but just kind of opening this up and checking this bad boy out. It comes in an air freshener, pretty freaking cool. Um, obviously you got all of your fittings here uh, because the one good thing about the Mishimoto and the kind of selling point for me was, and maybe the other radiators do this as well, is the interchangeability of this specific radiator. Um, the C6 generation Corvette has, I think, between three, four to five uh, different radiators for all the different submodels. Um, and this one is designed to fit all of them. So it's just got a bunch of interchangeable ports designed to fit any one of your C6s, which is really, really cool because I don't have to deal with the back and forth. And it has a really neat notch here. You're not gonna see it in the video, but at the very top of this radiator, there's actually a notch for the intake, which I think is, is pretty cool. And I'll show you my factory one. I don't think it was a problem for mine, but there was definitely a dent on it thinking maybe they did just lightly tap it to kind of get it to fit better. Uh, but that won't be the case with this bad boy. So let's get it out and get it installed. When your girl says that your size doesn't matter, she's lying, boys. So this is my factory one here. Look how disgusting this one, uh, sidebar, look how disgusting this radiator is. And that was there from uh, when I bought it just over time. That tends to happen with these C6s and typically you gotta brush it out without damaging the fins. But just look at the beauty of this thing. I really wish that M would show through. Um, piss off all my do it boys out there but it is an absolutely beautiful radiator. Obviously it's just a two core um, or two row. It's not gonna be one of those massive ones you see in your dad's Chevelle, but it's definitely thicker and it is just built to perfection. I am excited to see this thing in the car. I almost don't wanna to touch it with my dirty gloves so I don't uh, dirty it, but uh, I'm excited. I'm gonna get this thing installed right now. I 
guys. It's the next day, the radiator's installed, everything's back in place. My goal was today to just kind of roll it out, uh, fill it up with coolant, start it up, and see if it needs to go through the bleeding process. But as you can see from behind me, it's been raining the entire day in beautiful sunny Florida. So not gonna be able to finish that up today. Uh, but I'll wrap the video up here. And if you've watched this far, don't forget to like and subscribe on this video. I'll do a quick short in the coming days once I get it on the road, kind of document my temps and stuff. But as of right now, the car's ready to rock and roll except for getting some cooling in it. I'll see you guys in the next one.